Do you remember the night of that game, the snow coming down in RFK? Five, so, I think Joe, Joe held the ball for you, right? Right. That was the one kick. Everybody remembers that one because of what it stood for. You know, that, that was in uh, against the Giants in 1982 at, at RFK Stadium. Against, yeah, we were, uh, as you remember, that was the first year we went to the Super Bowl under Joe Gibbs in 1982. It was his second year here, by the way. I didn't include that in my talk there, but that was only in his second year here in Washington that we went to Super Bowl 17. And uh, the, what, I guess they kind of lead into that. I, I guess you want me to talk about that kick a little bit because, but what was going on was I, at that time I had a consecutive field goal streak going. And going into that game, I was up to 18. The record was 20. And so I was going to have to kick three field goals in that game if I was going to set a new NFL record for consecutive field goals. So that, you know, the chances of getting three field goals and making all this pretty, the odds were pretty great. And uh, I think in Vegas, they were betting pretty heavily on it, so <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. <clears throat> but as it turned out, I kicked two field goals in the first, first half, tied the record. And the team, we had not been to the playoffs in six years. And we had an opportunity, if we won this game against the Giants, and the Giants were really strong at that time too, if we could beat the Giants that game, we would be in the playoffs for the first time in six years. And as, as lo and behold, what happened was, as the game went in, we got into the fourth quarter, and it came down with four seconds left that I had to go in and kick a 42-yard field goal. It, it was snowing so hard that we couldn't see the goal. You could just barely see the goal post at the other end. And Coach, Coach Gibbs said, Mark, he said, can you do this? I said, yes, sir, I can do it. And I, you know, at that time, my confidence was so high. And as I told you, I've never, ever walked on a field that I didn't feel 100% that I was going to make the kick. And at that time, I, my psyche was pretty good because I felt good because I had all this streak going and I, I'd had all this adrenaline going. And now I was going to have an opportunity to do something great by setting, setting an NFL record of 20. This would be the 21st field goal for that year, consecutive field goal. And it would give us the win because at that time the score was 14 to 12. And if I made this field goal, we'd win the game. And it would put us in the playoffs for the first time in six years on one kick. The only problem we had was you could barely stand up on the field because it was so muddy. And it was a 42-yard field goal, so it wasn't a, a little chip shot. And we were having trouble even finding the yard markers and, and getting lined up to see, see the goal post. But again, I went out there, snapped the whole kick. They even, they even hit the ball. Ball hit one of the guy's hands. It, it was hit so true that it never wavered. Knocked his hand out of the way, and the ball kept going through. And we ended up winning the game, setting the record, and doing all those things. It was quite, a, quite an experience. And, but what was even bigger than that was what happened afterwards. As, as you remember, and I, I don't know, I'm not going to get into my preaching again, but at that time, uh, the ABC, I think it was ABC that was doing, or CBS it was, that was doing the game. It was, it was nationally televised. And um, after the game was over, we came running into the locker room, and the uh, TV was all set up because they were expecting the bubbly to start flowing and all this stuff. And they didn't realize, though, that under Joe Gibbs, the first thing that we did when we came in the locker room, win or lose, was everybody gathered around together in the middle and held hands, and we said the Lord's Prayer. We came in, Rex Mutzberger was doing the, um, he was doing the game, and they were set up with cameras live, and all of a sudden, everybody hit a knee, grabbed hands, and started saying the Lord's Prayer. They couldn't go to commercial break, so they had to show the Redskins doing the Lord's Prayer on national television. It went all over the world. So that was a big thing for us on that team. Okay, anyone else? 